All right, uh, let's move away from football now. What is what does Doogie do away from footy? Yeah, look, um, love me fishing, yep. love gaming, yep. um, and I uh, got my father in law's Harley, so yeah, I don't, it here. I I don't mind um, out the front. Yeah, I don't mind <laughs> just going for a cruise every now and then, just getting out. Days like today too, it's, yeah. it's pretty good outside. Bit hot, but um, always good just cruising along and you know not worrying about anything. You just touched on gaming, and it's probably an industry, I guess, that's just blown up over the last few years. And I know that a lot of our boys absolutely love it. Every spare time, they've got like their own group chat yeah. talking about. They're all gaming against each other, all playing the same game, which I think is awesome. I think I love it when I hear all the boys playing together. But how did how did you get into it? What are some of the games you play? Yeah, look, I um I started gaming when I was oh, ten or eleven. I, I had a PS two and and that sort of thing, and Nintendo sixty four, and um, just went on from that, but. I guess over the last couple of years, I got a, a bit of an opportunity to, to go with Mind Freak, and yep. um, I met Albert, the the owner and the creator of it, and that sort of thing. And he was just looking to branch outside of the esports a bit and pick up a few just um, you know people inside different uh, industries. Yep. And so I think he picked up me, he picked up a couple of AFL guys, a um, couple of the um, A League boys. And just things like that, just to branch out a bit. And, um, yeah, it's been pretty good. Uh, I haven't streamed as much as I wanted to this year just with everything going on. But, yep, yep. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously something that I'll probably keep doing just as a hobby to begin with. But seeing how far down the track we go yeah. and that sort of thing. You know, I've got other things that I want to do yeah. after footy, but... You know, if, if I can do that as a side hustle, then why yeah. not? I mean, you know, that was going to be my next question. Is like content creating, I guess, that, which is what they call it. In is this something that you know you would potentially do after po- after footy and look to do it on a more consistent basis or as a side hustle? Yeah, I'd probably do it more as a side hustle than yep. you know try and do it full time. Um, you know, it's good fun. Uh, you know, interacting with people and you know people watching you rage in the game sometimes <laughs> and. You know, sometimes I'll have a good one. If not, I'm raging at it. And yeah, no, nah, it's funny and it's good fun. And like I said, you get to interact with people you, you probably normally wouldn't too. Yep. I love that because my gaming or side hustle is probably like the podcast. So yeah. You, like, the, you know, you and you boys are gaming, I'm, you know, doing stuff like this. And I love that. And that leads me into finding that balance between football and interests outside of football. And I, I feel like personally, if you're, if I'm too invested into football, my performances just aren't stacking up. But if I've got a good balance between, I guess, everything that's in my life, I feel like I'm a much happier person. And once I get to training, it's like once I step over that white line and I'm training, it's like boom, I'm zoned in, ready to go. What's what's your take on it? 